Huh? They're like brand new, those guys. Yeah, really good eyes. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Jake and Chris here for Dude Ranch DIY. We are out here in the wood yard on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, little unexpected splitting sesh. Sarah and I got back from yet another wedding um, this morning. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my eye, for those of you who are wondering, is doing better. I am gonna be keeping on the Heatwave Visual eye protection while we're out here splitting today. But basically, we have a couple, what, birch and maple rounds that we gotta get through. And then um, we're gonna fill up the rest of this tote over here by the Easton Made 2228. And then we're gonna get into the ash firewood poles, finally. Um, because we, I have a bunch of deliveries that I need to deliver either right before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving. It's coming up this upcoming week. Um, so we need that ash, you know, I want it to sit for a while, a couple days or so, let the air get to it, make sure it's nice and dry, and get the people their firewood. So what, you're gonna cut? Yeah, I'll cut. I'll take uh, this birch log off of the cutting table and just start loading some ash on there. And uh, yeah, ho hopefully we can make a good pile, or dent in the <clears throat> pile of ash. Yeah, we got the 500i. I sharpened it up not too long ago. We got the new chainsaw cutting bag that uh, has all the, the chainsaw tools in it that Chris will get to use today. I haven't even really worked out of it yet, so you'll have to let me know uh, how it works. All right. All right, here we go. Just noticed on the beam here, I was about to go ahead and grease it, and there's like kind of a divot chunk taken out of there on the the right the log lift side of the beam and over here too I don't know what those marks uh, what those are from that's kind of weird
that last log, I must have hit something with the 500i. It's cutting like an absolute banana. I'm going to head over to Jake's new bag here. He's got a stump vise right in the corner pocket. He also has a hatchet right in the wood light, right in plain sight, ready to go. Uh, he also has all three of the files here. I have to double check the bar and see which size it is. But they are all clearly labeled. It should make for some quick and easy sharpening. It's nice that everything is in one neat location. And uh, yeah, it, it, that was a good idea for him to have done. That toolbox that he made a while back and accidentally ran over, just wound up collecting a whole bunch of junk. So this will be a lot more uh, productive. All right, guys, I think this is our fifth full tote of the day. We've been out here for about two hours. Um, and I know, you know, there's a, a bunch of wood that's on the ground. That's because I didn't really stop mid-splitting to uh, kind of like readjust everything in, in this tote. So I'm going to have to do that now, stack it up nice on the top to fit it all in. But just look at the size of these pieces that this pizza, seven-way pizza box wedge makes. It's, it's so nice to be able to have, you know, larger pieces be made, perfect little square pieces. Like this would be a, a fantastic piece for a bundle and, you know, all the way down to like full-size kindling pieces that come you know, right in the tote. Again, if you saw that short I posted a couple days ago, um, I've been including a lot of the kindling and stuff even in the firewood that I put in the loose stacks out on the roadside stand. Um, and I've gotten compliments from my customers when I do bring them this wood, you know, now that we've been actually selling wood from that's come off of the Easta made. Um, a lot of them have complimented the fact that there's, you know, smaller pieces, bigger pieces, all the way down to kindling. Um, you know, so they don't have to go out and find kindling or use newspaper or cardboard or, or stuff like that. Obviously, a lot of the really fine stuff, you know, and even some of the bigger stuff falls down off the grizzly bars, as you can see into this tote top here. We then, a lot of this stuff, will separate out these longer pieces, as you can see here, and we put them in kindling totes, you know? So um, we have multiple totes filled up complete with, completely with kindling that I use. I give to Chris for his wood stove. Um, it's just always nice to have kindling, and if people want kindling bundles, I can always bundle up kindling as well. Over here we have a full tote of just the, the scraps and stuff that I burn, the, the crotchy, nasty pieces. Um, and obviously we created some scrap today in the form of stuff that falls down off the, the beam and the conveyor, um, you know, at the business end of things here by the splitting ramp. Um, we have gotten through a ton of logs today. Chris, you know, it, it, Chris normally far exceeds what I'm able to split. He's able to basically cut it faster than I'm able to split. But today, that wasn't really the case. I was able to uh, keep keep up pr pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, he did. I, I think that's mostly because we were running into a lot of smaller diameter stuff. Today. Right. Uh, we are starting to get into some of the bigger, heavier rounds, like this one here and the, the last log that I cut. And those slow Jake down quite a bit just because of how many times... He has to push that lever for the one log to go through. Yeah, to go through the box Whereas wedge. I can keep going and making seven cuts on one log while he is still only trying to make his way through one. When he has the smaller diameter stuff, 
one or two presses of the lever, it's through, he's on grabbing another piece, and I might not be done cutting yet on the next log. Right, so. right. And that's not to say that the, the Easton made is slow by any means. That's just the nature of the box wedge and, you know, the sacrifice that, that you make with, you know, getting really nice sized wood such as that. Um, Chris thinks he hit maybe a couple pieces of uh, asphalt millings that were caught up in the bark of some of the logs. You can see he was using the core midi to push a lot of the saw dust out of the way so I'll have to throw the bucket on one of the machines and uh, get rid of this stuff but we are making really good progress like I said on this pile of logs um, to the point where I'm starting to feel comfortable that I can probably you know start organizing this stuff um, hopefully you know we can get through a lot more of this ash and then we'll start splitting all this oak cherry um, and there's beech and black birch over here as well. But you can see the, the log pile is kind of dwindling. It used to come out, you know, all the way to like down there. So we've been making firewood and we've been selling quite a bit of firewood at the same time. So guys, I think that's gonna about wrap up this video here. As I said, I think we got five totes done, which is just shy of like two cords, um, which is great for a uh, Sunday afternoon splitting session. After uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, I think uh, we'll be able to start hitting the wood pretty hard um, and we'll get out here and get the lights on and stuff because it's getting dark so early. But uh, we got all winter to make a bunch more wood. We just gotta make this ash sooner than later. That way uh, we have wood to sell throughout the winter. Um, that way, you know, we don't have to tell people that we ran out of wood. <laughs> um, so as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Be getting a lot of new subscribers. I know I've said that recently. Um, I think that's in part because the channel is just growing and I've been trying to put out more content in the form of, you know, posting more often long form videos and also posting, uh, you know, shorts that are entertaining and uh, get people to watch the channel. I was just on YouTube the other day checking us out. We just went over 12,000 subs, so thank you all yeah. for coming and checking us out. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're well over 12,000 um, at this point, so we really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to, you know, extend your support even further uh, be sure to check out the link down below in the description to the bonfire merch store you can pick up a t-shirt or sweatshirt or hoodie or something um, i know the holidays are coming up so um, we got a couple different designs and logos and stuff on there so as always guys thank you very much for watching we really appreciate it any questions comments or feedback put it down in that comment section but for now i'm jake and i'm chris this is dude ranch diy thanks so much for watching we'll see you here next time